And in business news, the National Bureau of Statistics says the unemployment rate in Nigeria increased to 5.3% in Q1 of 2024 from 5% recorded in Q3 of 2023. The Bureau says this in its labor force survey for Q1 of 2024 released in Abuja. Unemployment rate is defined as a share of labor force where who had, were not employed but who were actively searching for work. Uh, in terms of educational attainment, the report says the rate of unemployed uh, employment among persons uh, with postgraduate education is 2.0%. Q1 of 2024, while unemployment among those with post-secondary education is 9%. It noted that the unemployment rate among youths aged 15 to 24 years in Q1 of 2024 is 8.4%, uh, which is a decrease of 0.2% compared to 8.6% recorded in Q3 of 2023. The NBS said the labor force participation rate amongst the working age population in Nigeria dropped to 77.3% in Q1 of 2024 compared to 79.5% recorded in Q3 of 2023. Meanwhile, the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry has acknowledged efforts by the government to streamline the monetary policy regime. The Chamber believes the marginal drop in August headline inflation rate to 32.15%, down from 33.40% in July, is on a good note. Reacting to the increase in monetary policy rate by the CBN, LCCI says the marginal drop in inflation reflects some level of policy impact. However, this is still insufficient, according to them, to address deep-rooted challenges contributing to high inflation, particularly through food prices. In a statement signed by the Director General of the LCCI, Dr. Chiri Amona, it shows that concerns that food inflation had surged to 37.52% year-on-year, with core inflation reaching 27.58%. The statement highlights several pressures on the purchasing power of Nigerians. The statement further explains that beyond the pains of petrol price hikes, a bigger problem is the controversies about the pricing dynamics of both imported and locally refined petroleum products. They added that accelerated energy reforms, improved electricity generation, reduces reliance on costly diesel and petrol, and this will make ensure a stable power supply and for manufacturing and SMEs operating in the country. The DG called for quick transition to renewable energy sources to reduce production costs. Chamber concludes that improving transportation infrastructure to cut logistics uh, costs was significant, advocating for more investment in rail network. In other news, the Naira on Tuesday depreciated by 95 Naira 83 Cobb on the official foreign exchange market shortly after the CBN announced the Monetary Policy Committee's decision to raise interest rates for the fifth consecutive time this year. According to data from the FMDQ, Securities and Exchange uh, Commission, uh, that uh, the Naira fell by about 5.8%. At the close of trading on Tuesday, with the dollar being quoted at uh, more than 1,658 naira compared to 1,562 naira quoted on Monday at the Nigerian Autonomous Foreign Exchange Market. In terms of liquidity, the dollar supply from willing seller and buyers rose dramatically. The naira depreciated in the parallel market, often referred to as the black market. The CBN following its MPC meeting, raised the monetary policy rate by 50 basis points, bringing key interest rates to 27.25%. This is the fifth consecutive hike in 2024, as the Apex Bank continues its effort to stabilize the Naira. The Standards Organization of Nigeria has revealed that the seizure of fake and substandard products worth billions of Naira nationwide is not just a loss for perpetrators, but also a major setback for the Nigerian economy. This was underscored during a one-day sensitization workshop held for Southeast, uh, in the Southeast for importers and manufacturers. The workshop tied to SON requirements and compliance monitoring activities to curb influx of sales of substandard products in the country, focused on the fight against counterfeit goods in the country. Director General of the SON, as well as other participants, underscored the need uh, for collective efforts to combat the menace, urging importers to comply with the set standards and avoid, um, avoid importing substandard products. What SON do is to ensure that trade is facilitated and Nigerian economy level come up. So that's why we are here and we engage with them. There are a lot of questions that they ask us and we answer it. 
And the effect of this generally is to make sure that Nigerians are more empowered in doing business. And that is why SON is here meeting them. At the state level, office is to take charge of what? The people doing manufacturing locally. So that we will help them to build their product to the level and quality that anybody can buy, anybody can export. Stocks gradually slipped today with a continued stimulus field rally in China. The one bright spot while the dollar came under pressure and crude oil retreated from a multi-week high. European stocks fell 0.1% after gaining nearly 1% on Wednesday. Oil and gas shares led the losses, falling 0.9% and concerns that Chinese stimulus plans would not do enough to boost the demand. Wall Street was set for losses, uh, too, as uh, the S&P 500 features down 0.2%. Mainland Chinese blue chips gained 1.4%, adding to a 4.3% jump in the prior session. Hong Kong Hang Seng climbed 0.7%, adding to Tuesday's 4.1% surge. The strong start for Chinese stocks briefly invigorated other regional indexes, but those gains soon fizzled as MSCI's broadest index of uh, Asia-Pacific shares outside Japan gained 0.3%. President Joe Biden cast the climate crisis as a new economic opportunity for the U.S., saying that his policies in office had developed a new formula to fight global warming while also creating jobs and bolstering domestic industries. President Biden told executives gathered at the Bloomberg Global Business Forum in New York, President's remarks represented a bit to uh, burnish his legacy uh, of confronting climate change and accelerating clean energy deployment. Weeks ahead of the pivotal U.S. election set to dictate the country's trajectory on the issues for years to come. And I've been pointing out when it comes to the climate, every time I talk about it, whether I was trying to convince labor and business to come along, I'd say, well, I think climate, I think jobs. I think jobs, and I mean it, good union-paying jobs. In fact, I'm proud to have kept my commitment to bring unions and business to the climate table. That's what we're seeing. Rather than climate conservation about sacrifice, conversation about sacrifice, or focus on doing less, Kamala and I have pursued an ambitious climate policy focused on growth. And the public and private sector led, lead all of it. You, you, all of you in this audience, you've led, building our economic capacity. Together, we've proven the strong middle class, thriving innovation and manufacturing are the key to winning climate here at home and abroad. China Asian Expo kicked off in Nanning, South China, Gaxin Song, uh, that's our autonomous region, as participants emphasized the importance of deepening economic and trade cooperation. Now, the Expo opening ceremony attracted more than 1,000 participants, including Chinese and foreign leaders, government officials, entrepreneurs, scholars, and representatives from international organizations. Addressing participants at the opening, Chinese Vice Premier Zhuk Xiangqing said China is willing to work with the Association of South Asian Nations to deepen practical cooperation and write a new chapter in building a closer China Asian uh, community with a shared future. So these are the products that we is solely produced from Malaysia. So we have a skincare range. Our, all our products are organic and it's chlorine free. I believe there are a lot of products from Malaysia that is bound to less known in China. So we would like to create more connections with other distributors in China and hope to bring in more Malaysian products as well. China is on top of trading partner for UAE also for the last uh, almost 20 years. What we see there is uh, potential for upgrading the level of cooperation between China and UAE uh, in the future, but additional to that, we have very strong uh, partnership and strategic uh, relations with ASEAN. <laughs> We have extensive cooperation potential with ASEAN countries in new energy. The ASEAN Expo serves as an international platform for cooperation, not just between China and ASEAN, but as a global collaboration platform encompassing a green transition, digitalization and integration.
Crude oil prices held most of the biggest advances in more than a week as traders track developments in the Middle East and the impact of Chinese stimulus measures on demand. Now, U.S. West Texas intermediate crude sells for $71.58 with an upward margin of 0.03%. Brent also experienced an upward preview, 0.09% to sell at $75.24. Bonnie Light sells for $78.62 with a downward price review of 2.85%. And for the OPEC basket crude oil dealer, are offering $74.44 with a downward price review of 0.40%.